So here I am. I'm going to call this thing Zen Server Host 01. And this is going to be IP address of, um, I'm going to give it the IP address of uh, 201. No, I'm going to give the IP address of uh, 102. Okay. So that's going to be my Zen server. I should give it 92. Click Add Host. Ta da! So that's done. And I'm going to create later on another host that I'm going to give the address of 102, and that's going to be Zen Server Host 02. There we go. So now I've got XS, Zen Server Host 01, and Zen Server Host 02 on my DNS server, which is a good thing. I minimize that. Open up my DRAC, go to my console, open up my console, or connect to this thing. Connect. And go to the USB drive. Press enter to begin the installation. And wait for the question and answer session to come up. It's really not that bad. So here we are. I'm going to select the US keyboard. I'm going to start the drivers. I'm going to accept the end user license agreement. And here's my drive. Oops, didn't mean to go back. Try that again. And it's saying that I have, see this SDA, SDB? SDA stands for SCSI Device A. This is a Linux thing. And it is a 135 gig drive, which is what I have. And it says enable thin provisioning, which is optimized storage for Zen desktop. Thin provisioning allows me to dynamically expand and shrink storage components. So I'm going to enable that and I'm going to click OK. Yes, I've got local media that I'm using to install. And it says, would you like to install any supplemental packs? I won't. And I don't want to verify system, the installation source. I'm sure it's fine. I'm going to put in the password. This is the root password for when you install and communicate with Zen Server. So this is the initial password for the root account. Make sure you enter it in properly and that it is secure. And here's the, the NIC or the network card that I'm going to be using to communicate with the host. And I'm going to assign it a static address like that. Subnet mask of that gateway of my domain controller, like so. So you want to make sure these IP address is, these, this IP address is correct. You can change it later on, of course. You can use the DHCP assignment, um, maybe if you have a reservation, if you have an IP reservation based on a MAC address. Maybe you want to use DHCP. I don't. I'm going to be using a static address. Host name. My host name for this is xshost01. My DNS server is that. And America. And I'm going to specify the zone, time zone. I'm going to manually enter time. And I'm going to install Zen Server. I don't have any data in there, so I'm going to install it. And here begins the installation process. So I assigned a host name. I created an I, I put in an IP address. Uh, I told it to um, install the drivers to load the hard disk. You notice this time around, it did not give me the message that says VT or virtualization technology wasn't installed or wasn't enabled. I did enable it on my server. Now, while this is installing, I'm going to install one more server. So let's do that. I'm going to go to the drag of that box. 